the first computers used to be the size of an entire room. Then they were built to fit under your desk. The newest design is a portable device that sits on your lap. Today's laptops are made to be smaller and more powerful than ever. With its lightning-fast processor and impressive graphics, this computer is a state-of-the-art gaming rig. The computer's brain, called a motherboard, begins as a printed circuit board. Its pattern of lines and pads in copper is the wiring for the other tiny computers that will be soldered onto the board. This machine places a stencil of the soldering computers to the board and applies thermal paste to help keep them cool. A quality inspection light bombards the circuit board with flashing red, blue, and green lights. Circuit boards are very sensitive to these colors of light, so if the board shows any signs of cracking or melting, it is removed from the production line. If the board passes inspection, it's sent to 15 different labeling machines, which etch the names of each component onto the board in just 30 seconds. These labels indicate to the board how each part should function, and helps the board redirect its electricity accordingly. A limiter chip is planted onto the board. This is placed by the manufacturer to intentionally slow down the processing power of the board, and is only removed if the customer purchases a higher-end laptop. Another camera inspection ensures that the board is correctly initialized and will not come apart during shipping. At another part of the factory, technicians cheerfully assemble the top half of the laptop called the panel kit. Sometimes the workers become so overjoyed that they will break into a group sing-along while working. Thankfully, factory security is quick to beat them down if this happens, to prevent possible rebellion. The webcam assembly, Wi-Fi antenna, Domino's Pizza tracker app, and other important functional aspects of the laptop are installed in the small cover underneath the screen as it is fully assembled. A thin metal frame is stamped around the edge of the screen to increase acceleration. Next, they assemble the bottom half. First, the top half is attached to the hinges of the bottom. Then, the NSA tracking device is carefully wired into the body of the laptop itself. And then, the motherboard comes back into play, having lost roughly 40% of its body mass during shipping. This computer, being a gaming laptop, requires two powerful fans. This is so if the person playing on this laptop is ever raided by a local SWAT team, they can simply grab onto it and fly away. Dust and oil have a chance to contaminate the sensitive electronics, so the technician sprays the board down with oil to make sure that they take no chances. Then they attach the battery, which will last about 30 minutes before needing a full recharge. A laser etching machine marks the product information on the back. This machine was purchased to be used with the HTC Vive Virtual Reality Headset, meaning it was a complete waste of money.